Hi guys, I literally just got back from Vegas about three hours ago and I wanted to do a quick um, Vegas haul for you guys before I packed away my stuff and put them away. So, my girlfriends and I went to Vegas on Sunday and we came back today, Valentine's Day. And we went last year too, so we're trying to make this like an annual thing because Valentine's Day sucks, especially when you're single. So. We um, totally drove ourselves there and then blew so much money on shopping. We shopped at two different outlets and we shopped in between the different stores while we were in Vegas. No gambling, so um, I don't, I'm not a gambler. I don't gamble, I don't really drink, and I don't do any of that nightlife clubbing thing either. So we were there mainly to just hang out, you know, be silly and eat and shop and we did a lot of that so I'm going to show you everything that I got they're not going to be in the right order I might be jumping around back and forth but I, whatever I'm a little tired so one of the places that um, we went to at the outlet I stopped by American Apparel and it's not a whole lot cheaper I'm not a big outlet shopper either but my friend is and she really really wanted to go so I was kind of happy that I saw the American Apparel outlet there because I really needed some pantyhose. And the story behind the pantyhose thing, I'm going to give you guys like a little, a few minute blurb on the reason why I really need pantyhose. So in the last six days, my body has been acting haywires. I broke out into a hive. It started off on my arms, on the inside of my elbows, and it went all the way from the top of my shoulders down to my hands. My hands were so, so, so swollen that I couldn't even bend it like this. It was awful. It was miserable. I was so itchy. It was everywhere from my um, shoulder down to my hands, on my chest, on my back on my neck, on my on the back of my scalp too. I felt it climbing up the back of my scalp. I was miserable. Anyway, I'd go to sleep after taking medications. I'd wake up and there'd be new hives in different locations. It would be somewhere new every single day for the last six days. And only today, I didn't have hives on my upper body. No hives on my chest, my back, my arms. This is the first time. Instead, all the hives were just on my lower body, my butt, my legs. It was awful. So I bought pantyhose so that I could hide these scars. <laughs> They're not scars. Hide these hives while I um, wore my shorts because I didn't pack appropriately. But um, I'm really happy I got these. They were $5 cheaper than what the original price were for one pair. For most of them, um, it's like a $10 difference. Like the original price is $20 and I got these for 10. So I bought the neutral color stuff. I bought like a, a black, ugh, I can't talk. I bought a black one. I bought a dark gray one, a light gray, an olive color, and a nude fishnet. And yeah, I like American apparel pantyhose. They feel good. They um, are pretty long lasting for me at least. And that's it with American Apparel. I also got myself one of these cool hats. I've been wanting one for a while, but the malls were selling them for like 20 something dollars and I don't know, for 20 something dollars, I just, I didn't like it enough. I got this one for 12 and I thought, okay, I'll be happy spending $12 on it. So another thing that I got was the Naked 2 palette. I was at Sephora and I never intended to buy one of these. I never intended to because I was going to get the Inglot palette and I was not going to deal with this and I was there, I don't know, I just felt like spending money and so I threw my money on this. I really do like it though, I used it for two days and I like it a lot better than the Naked One palette, that's just my opinion. I like cooler tone shades though, so I got that and then um, at the Kenneth Cole outlet, I bought these Periwinkle skinny jeans. They're very comfortable, very, very nice color. I love this color. Um, I think they were $49, so I thought I got a good deal on it. I like it a lot. It's very stretchy, and I hope that it doesn't stretch too much, because then I, I'm going to wish that I got a size down. Anyway, then we went to Old Navy, and at Old Navy's um, outlet, I got this dress. It's a 
navy blue polka dot dress. I actually saw it um, maybe three weeks ago at the old navy store, but I didn't get it because, I don't know, it was... It's not that it's even that expensive. The original price is like $35. I got this on sale for $22.99. But when I was at the outlet, I was in the shopping mode and I thought, let me just get it. So I bought it. And I also picked up this denim jacket at Old Navy. And then this one was $29.99. I really like the wash of this. It's really hard for me to find a wash like this, especially in a light color denim like this as well. So I'm really happy about that. And then I got this clutch from Aldo. The original price on this one was $40. At the outlet, the price was marked down to $29. On top of the $29, there was 30% off. So I had to get this because I really like the contrast between a brown and a black or like a konag and a black or a beige and a black. There's something about those two combinations in a purse that I'm really drawn to. So. I, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. So I like that. I got shoes. I got these Madden Girl shoes with these little T-strap um, T-strap straps <laughs> and the little kitten heel. heel. It's peep toe. It's really comfortable and I could probably walk around forever in these. Um, when I was shopping though, it was raining, I was wearing flip-flops, it was a disaster. I was afraid that I was going to slip and fall because I didn't anticipate rain. I didn't anticipate rain um, for the whole weekend and it was actually rather cold in Vegas. But luckily I found a pair of boots. I was really desperate. I was actually going to pay at least like 40 or $50 on a pair of shoes that I probably won't ever wear again. But then I saw these boots. They're like a suede boot, and um, this is like the heel part. These were $19.99, so I, I for sure knew that I had to get these because they're cheap, and if I didn't like them, then I wouldn't have been spending that much money on them anyway. It has this like Sherpa lining on the inside, which totally kept me warm, and I, it was like the best thing ever. I just got lucky. It's lace up side zipper. I like them. Um, and then I went to Michael Kors at the outlet and I bought myself a cape. I've always wanted a cape. And this one is so cute. It's navy blue and has brown like lining or leather lining on the... I don't know what you call this. But it's really cute and it was $80 and I got that because I just felt like I had to get that. It was just something that I really wanted for a long time so I'm really glad I did. Okay, and then I went to Crabtree and Evelyn because my coworker who was with me, she swears by this lotion. She says it works so well. I normally use La Ocetane. I don't know if that's the correct way you pronounce it but I've been using the hand cream for a while now and I really like it because it's really moisturizing. I work in a hospital, I wash my hands a ton all the time so my hands are super raw like all the time. Anyway, my friend swears by this and she made me pick these up because they were like 30% off too, which is a good deal. So I picked up um, two of their full sized hand therapy lotions. This one is in citron honey coriander and then this one is in pomegranate argan and grapeseed these were my two top favorite smells at the store the other ones i don't really care for um i picked up two of these too this one is the rose water hand therapy they're like the miniature size so i got all of that two of the small ones and two regular size lotions for 39 dollars that's a steal because the La Ossetine lotion that I bought was 30 bucks, I think, for one. Uh, anyway, I really liked it. I tested it on my hand. It has a really good smooth consistency and it's very moisturizing. I was quite pleased I, that even like three hours into the day, my hands were still very soft and moisturized. So I think that's a good product. Then while I was at the outlet, I saw these, these things are called smash toys 
they're basically like slime you basically just throw it onto some surface and it just splats out and I bought these for my nephews so I know that they're gonna have a ton of fun with it but they're sleeping right now so I won't give it them give it to them until I see them in the morning um, then the last thing that I bought was from Inglot um, I've been wanting to go to Inglot for so long. The first time I went to Vegas last year with my girlfriends, I was looking for this place and I couldn't find it. I didn't know where it was. I was really sad leaving empty-handed without the Inglot bag that first time. And so that was my first time missing an Inglot deal or sale. And then the second time I was going to Australia last year, I went in, I went in May and so I knew that there was a store out in Sydney somewhere. I was in Sydney. I couldn't find it. I just, I couldn't find it. And so I was really sad about that. And this time around, when I went to Vegas, I made sure that I knew where it was.